Hi everyone, Professor Paul here again. You probably know the theory. Hard training with weights equals big muscles, right? Absolutely. But here at the Maxis Institute, we've been studying this phenomenon for many years. And what we've concluded is there's a vital missing ingredient in this equation, and that's protein. That's right, protein. Yeah, that's right, I said it. Protein. Oh, yeah. But not just any old protein. It's got to be quality protein for your muscles to grow. Quality proteins like lean meat, lean chicken, fish, eggs, low-fat dairy, and of course, whey protein. Whey protein is found in milk and can be purified into high-quality proteins like whey protein isolate and whey protein concentrate. But why am I singling out whey protein? Well, the science tells us that whey protein is absolutely the best protein you can get to build muscle after hard weight training. Now, all proteins are made up of long chains of special molecules called amino acids. It just so happens that the amino acids in whey protein are the ideal ratios for building human muscle tissue, which is very convenient. This means that if you want to build maximum muscle mass, you need to be adding some whey protein into your bodybuilding diet. Whey protein comes in a number of forms and purities. You really need to know the best types of whey protein that are beneficial to athletes and bodybuilders. Hydrolyzed whey protein isolate is an extremely fast acting form of whey that is rapidly absorbed. This is a great recovery protein. Standard whey protein isolate is a very high quality, fast acting protein and a great all round muscle builder. Whey protein concentrate is a medium digesting whey protein with superior biological benefits that help keep athletes healthy and stimulate maximum muscle growth. Now the great news is that Max's has combined these three forms of whey protein into one super product, Max's Super Whey. Super Whey is the ideal protein for beginner, intermediate and advanced level trainers including bodybuilders and all strength and power athletes who want to build lean, defined muscle mass. It can be taken at any time during the day to help build more muscle and is also ideal to take immediately after hard training or sport to maximise whole body recovery. If you are looking for a high quality, all purpose protein formula that's great value, look no further than Max's Super Whey. Unfortunately, some people still think you don't need protein to grow muscles. I like to think about a bear punching a tiger in the face. Statistically, neither is likely. We'll catch you next time. Thanks, Professor. We're here with our white. Welcome, Al. Welcome back to Muscle TV. Last time we were on, we did the part one of the intermediate workout, which was legs, chest, and tricep. Today, we're going to do part two, which is shoulders, back, and biceps. Let's get into it. Our first exercise is a shoulder press. In the beginner's workout, we showed you a barbell shoulder press. Today, we're going to do a dumbbell shoulder press. Let's go, Al, with a seated dumbbell press. Any bench will do with a bit of a back rest on it. Dig your feet in, start down at your shoulder, touch them at the top. Just changes the angle. If it was a bar, you'd be going straight up here like this. Because it's a dumbbell, you get the benefit of coming in at the top and making your shoulders flex. Now your shoulders get worked in just about everything you do. And this one works the big front part of your shoulder, this part of the head here, and builds a big wide shoulder. So great, and we're gonna do the progressive resistance with this, which we talked to, you, talked to you about last week, which is 12, 10, eight, and six. You're done. Our second shoulder exercise, which is shoulders and traps, is called a high pull. We need to fire your traps up. We need to switch them on and develop some power in your body. You're an intermediate now, so you've really got to get some power going. This is a great way to switch on some fast twitch muscle fibers and to really get your upper back and your traps firing, which in turn gets all your rear delt going. Let's go, Al. The trick is to get a nice wide grip. Most people do upright rows with their hands together or maybe 30 centimeters apart. No good. You've got to get them nice and wide like this. Just put your thumbs around the bar like that and the aim is to pull it straight up under your nipples. Just that high with the elbows pointing straight up. Elbows forward a bit, Al. Just stop and reset at the bottom of each thing. The bottom of each rep, just roll your elbows forward. Now go, fire. Boom, stop now, reset. Roll your elbows forward slightly each time, pull. We're using an Olympic bar with this exercise, but it doesn't matter whether you use a standard gym bar or not. Just as long as your hands go out as wide as you can on a standard gym bar. Faster on the way up, seven, one to go, eight. The reason I kept saying faster is because we want it to be an explosive movement. The reason we keep the reps down low is because you don't need high reps for this because it's a very, very quick explosive movement. Eight, maybe even six once you start to go heavy. Today we're just going to do four sets of eight, but as you get good at this one, 
don't be afraid to drop down to maybe two sets of eight, two sets of six. Well, that's it for shoulders. We've done the front half of your shoulder, we've done the back half of your shoulder. Now we move on to back and we'll follow that with bicep. This is an old staple, one of our favourites, but a big part of any back workout. It's very basic, but you've got to get it right. It's all about the rotation, the angles, and how you get your mind into your muscle with this exercise. People do these for years and don't feel them. Hopefully through watching Muscle TV, you'll get a grip on how this exercise must be done. Let's go, Al. Just so your finger's right on that bend of the bar, a bit closer. That's it, sit up straight, stretch, look forward, relax. Now, lean back and pull. So it's a quick movement from there, stretch, pause, squeeze. Don't try and hold it too long at the bottom, just slightly pause, but do stop at the top, reset yourself and bang. Now, where people go wrong with this is they do them far too slow. And when you do them far too slow, your biceps and forearms do all the work and not your lats. So Whitey, I need you to pull it harder out of the top. Bang, down onto your chest, that's it. You see the lats fire straight away. It's all about firing up the lats. Stretch at the top. You see his lats are starting to pump up already. Flare them at the top, flex them at the bottom. Flare them at the top, flex them at the bottom. 12 reps for this. And relax. That's great. With lats, keep your reps up a little bit higher. You're just at an intermediate level. When you go to an advanced level, you can start to drop your reps a little bit. But it's so important to get it right because you can really overdevelop your shoulders and biceps and not isolate your lats. And we see it happen all the time. And, and it's very, very hard to fix if you don't do it at this level. You might think on Muscle TV, we go on and on about being a beginner and being intermediate and getting it right. But it's the most important thing is to build a foundation with your body, a foundation with your training so that when you get to an advanced level, everything's in place, ready to fire. Our next exercise is a seated row. The first thing to do is to stretch right back, so you almost put the plates back on the stack, and then pull back, low on your waist, and arch your back. Now you'll see here, I'll get down and show you folks, we've got to get down low to show you that his back is arching. Shoulders back more, Al, come on. Right back. You've got to get those shoulders back like this. So imagine someone's putting their knee in the small of your back and pulling your shoulders back like that. You've got to rotate your shoulders or your lats don't flex. Do it on your own now, Al. Nine, come on, 10, 11, 12, let's go. Arch, slight pause. 11, last one, big stretch and bang. Fantastic. There's your basic intermediate back workout, a lat pull down and a seated row. Don't rest too much between sets. Keep your reps up and most importantly, put your mind in your muscle. We've done shoulders, we've done back and now we're going to do biceps. Everyone loves to do the curls. So, we're going to start off with 15 reps, then 12, then 10, then 8. So it's a progressive resistance exercise. In your beginner's routine, we just did a straight four sets of 10. So now we're going to mix it up a little bit. The form doesn't change, but the way we do it does just slightly. Let's go out. We'll start with a relatively light weight, 15 kilos, and we need 15 reps. Just like we showed you in the beginner's workout, you've got to pause at the bottom, and you've got to pause at the top. Like when we did the tricep uh, push down last week, you've got to have Two seconds at the top, one second at the bottom. This allows you to straighten your arm and allows you to flex at the top. If you don't do this, you'll find you'll be swinging the bar and your biceps don't get isolated. This helps you to isolate the bicep and get your mind in your muscle. Stretch up, that's 13, two to go. 14 and one more. We'll just hold this one a little bit longer at the top. Really start to squeeze your arms, fire them up, that's it. That's your barbell curl, cool, folks. We're gonna move on to the preacher now. Here we are with our second and final bicep exercise, the last exercise in part two of our intermediate workout. This is a barbell preacher curl. We've chosen to do an EZ bar because we did a straight bar with the barbell curl, simple as that. You can do that and then you can mix them around next time up and it'll just change things a little bit. I find with an EZ bar and the preacher, it's a little bit easier on your wrists. Let's go, Al. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a straight four set to 10 because we haven't had this exercise on before. Nice wide grip. Once again, full range of motion, stop at the top, stretch, stop at the top, stretch. Similar to a barbell curl, but because of the support behind your arms, it concentrates more on the bottom part of your bicep and keeps it very, very strict, isolates the bicep. You'll see Al stopping at the top of the movement and allowing it to flex. That's how you get your mind in your muscle. If you just swing away, swing away, you'll never feel your arms and you've wasted a workout. You might waste months of workouts by not listening. So focus on this, folks and realise you've got to get your mind and your muscle with everything we do. Most importantly, stop at the top, make sure you're feeling it in your bicep before you release it. Just straight 10 reps, Al. Nine, one to go. And 10. You're done, mate, put it down. 
Okay, that's the end of our workout, Whitey. You're as pumped as hell. Let's show what we've done. We've done your shoulders, we've done your traps, your back, your biceps. Whip the maxes top off. Let's see what sort of shape you're in and how these workouts have pumped up those muscles. I'll just spin around the back and just do your double biceps from the back. You see every muscle that we've worked today. Let's go through them. We worked the front part of your shoulder, the back part of your shoulder, your traps, those lower traps are still pumped. The lats, right through the lats, and the biceps. Turn around and do a bicep shot, Al. You're really pumped today, even for an advanced trainer like Al. When you slow down and do all the movements properly and you're being filmed, it actually makes you really concentrate in your training. You've really had a great workout, Al. Thanks again, mate. We love having you on Muscle TV. And until next week, folks, see you in the gym. Yeah.